other one. Strimsky takes in. Yeah, he wasn't a big fan of the pitch count. In a normal one. position. Line drive down, down the left field, field line. Line. Marsh ball over toward the corner. corner. It's carrying pretty well. He has room. He makes the catch in fair territory. Pretty dried up. Oh, yeah. Bryce Harper leads it off. Guys, we'll talk to you during the postgame show. 1-0 pitch to Harper. Line drive, base hit it to right center field. So Harper has two hits today. Came in the fifth with Bryce Harper. Yeah, he got a ball running away from him. If he, if he tries to pull it, he might have hit it, hit a ground ball to second. But instead, he stayed on it. Hit that ball out to left center field. And then Nick's double off the wall scored Brandon Marsh, who also doubled and for getting two hotter than you know what. Alec Bohm in what could be his last at bat to try to ah. off the plate, slowly to shortstop. And in time, up to second base goes Harper. He went around. He didn't want. 0 oh 2. Ground ball to first. Flores stays down on it. And wins the race to the bag. No runs, one hit, two left. Yeah, that's outside at Whitney. He can hit. I like this kid. He, I think he can swing it. I mean, he had a pretty good at bat last night against Alvarado, which can't be comfortable. No. Well, he's two for four today. He's got 34 that hits. Lead off, and then next day's batting third. Estrada takes it. Fouled away. Cream colors are in day games. Thursday's the uh, powder blues, the baby blues. That's One and two. Fly ball center field. Rojas is in. And he makes the grab. Two outs. Yeah, Hazel May, who does the uh, sidelines for uh, the Blue Jays TV, she's been here all day. Rob Thompson relayed a story today saying that, you know, Hazel he introduced gave, uh, him. Zach, a lot of breathing room after that one. How much fun has it been watching this rotation go about their business? It's been so great. One hopper out to second base. Estrada throws out Merrifield. Uh, the inside corner 0 and 1. Tapper back to the mound. Rogers. It's interesting. He doesn't sideline it over the first time. Was it Chad Pitchers. Bradford that used to do that, where he fielded it and he would underhand yeah, it, basically sideline it? Darren O'Day, too, didn't he? Maybe that's who it was. Maybe it was Darren O'Day. They're strange bunch, Bob. Pitchers or sidewinders? Well, both. Sidewind and lefties are really out there, in general. I wouldn't want to Schwarber. And he drills one deep to right field toward the pole. It is gone. Solo home run for Kyle Schwarber. He tucked it just inside the pole. And the Phillies have added another one. It's a 6-1 game. My Lord, is that. He's so strong. Oh. Yeah, that pitch was just center cut, and everyone in the gray uniform was praying that thing would hook foul, but it did not. Right off the right pole. Right off the pole. Nine ball run. Putting a sensor on the pole with a light on it is they should do. I wouldn't know that. Fly ball to right center field. Strimsky's back. He'll make the catch. The inning is over. But the Phils add another one and a home run by Kyle Schwarber off the pole and right. It's 6 1 Phils as we go to the ninth. Get the boys home early. Wilmer Flores takes outside. It's 1 0. It'll be Flores and then Conforto and Chapman for the Giants who came into today 15 and 20, John. Already seven and a half games out in the West. Yeah, that's. That's a tough battle. You know, when you look what the Dodgers did this offseason, 
and they were already really good. And now I guess tonight they got Walker Bueller back. His first start since 2022. Forever. Yeah. So that uh, adds a little depth to their rotation. But. Off the hands popped up down the left field line on the run is Stott. He'll make the catch going away. Yeah, that's a heck of a play. Nice to have two shortstops who can run, huh? Yeah, that's a heck of a play by, by Bryce, and that ball jammed floors and he just blooped down the line, and there's Bryce almost overran it. He's so fast. I'm sure he's going to let Trey know that he probably wouldn't have had that. I loved what Taron said before that, you know, he would take ground balls and shortstop just to, you know, needle Trey a little bit. Pitch down low to Conforto. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not Hopefully good. Hopefully that hip is okay. Hey, you can see he's got it bandaged. Talking to him today, he said it was pretty slippery in the uh, on deck. I mean, in the batter's box the other night when he went down with that injury. Yeah. One ball and one strike to Conforto, who's 0 for two. He's fly to center. He's also struck out looking. Squeezed into walk as well. You wonder, you wonder if Alec will get a day off against the Blue Jays. It's look, you know, it looks like his hitting streak is over. Barrios pitching tomorrow. He was the American League Pitcher of the Month. Yeah, he's been good. Two and two to Conforto. Opposite way, right at ball. He sets himself. Two outs. Phillies have won 10 straight against National League West opponents. They've started unbeaten this year. A win today would make it 11 in a row. They've never done that. They've never won 11 straight against the National League West. I can see why. That's a tough chore. It sure is. Here's Chapman. Chapman's 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. You know, it's funny. They 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 sweep Colorado, go out to San Diego, or White and the White Sox. Then they go out to San Diego, and you hear people on social media, well, well now let's see how they do against a good team. Well, I think they did okay. Yeah, I mean they're whoever's on the schedule, they're knocking them off. Yeah. I mean, Same schedule everyone else is gonna have, right? Don't they all play the same teams the same amount of time? Yep. Post game show coming up right after this one's over. You got it. No. I got it. You got it. I think you got it. I, I saw the schedule. I think you got it. Oh, One and two. God, I hate schedules. <laughs> and the pitch. A little low. Two and two. Yeah, that's yeah. Mark. Mark, get it going. Two balls, two strikes. Fly ball, right side. Merrifield is under it. He waits, and he makes the catch. The Phils have won 10 straight here at Citizens Bank Park. They win it today, 6-1. to one. Stellar pitching by Zach Wheeler. And I guess you could say some patient hitting. It took time, but they were able to rock and roll. Yeah, they did exactly what they had to do to win this game. Of course, you know, when you have Zach Wheeler on the mound, you don't need to score a whole lot, but they scored enough. They now lead the National League East by three games for the first time in 1,802 days. Their last four-game sweep came back in 2023 in September versus the Giants. It was back in 2018. And they've won 17 of their last 20 for the first time since 2010. Wow. This is trending in an historical way yep. for the Phillies. Yeah, and I think 
Doesn't look like they're going to slow up any. Doesn't look like it. 